Okay, so let's work through the integral of the sine of 2x by the cosine of 5x with respect to x. Okay, so this is an integral involving two trigonometric functions. And the intuitive thing, because we have the product of two functions, would be to go through and use a technique like integration by parts. However, we would probably be doing more work than what's necessary to solve it. Our approach to integration, whether we're doing indefinite integrals like this one, or with bounded integrals or definite integrals, should be to see if we can simplify the integrand first. So the first step should always be to see if we can simplify this expression here. And luckily, with trigonometric identities, we can. So trigonometric identities can always be very powerful with integrals involving trigonometric functions. And the specific one that I'm going to need here is the product to sum formula in that the sine of u by the cosine of v can be expressed as a half of the sine of u plus v plus the sine of u minus v. So that means we can express the sine of 2x by the cosine of 5x as being equal to a half by the sine of 2x plus 5x plus the sine of 2x minus 5x and if we simplify that we will get a half by the sine of 7x plus the sine of negative 3x. So with sine being an odd function, the sine of a negative term inside of the parentheses, the negative can come out the front. So it'll be negative by the sine of positive 3x. So now the integral of the sine of 2x by the cosine of 5x becomes the integral of a half of the sine of 7x minus the sine of 3x dx. And we can now write this as two separate integrals. A half can come out the front of each integral. So it's the half times the sine of 7x dx minus a half by the integral of sine of 3x dx. So evaluating these integrals now, we have a half sine integrates to negative cosine. So it's the negative cosine of 7x, but we have to divide by the derivative of what's inside the cosine term. So it's effectively applying the negative chain rule and the derivative of 7x is just 7 minus a half Again, sine integrates to negative cosine. The term inside, 3x, remains the same, but we have to divide by 3, which is the derivative of 3x. And finally, let's not forget the integration constant c being an indefinite integral. So simplifying this now, we have two negatives here, which becomes a positive. So I'm going to write this as 1 sixth of the cosine of 3x minus 1 14th of the cosine of 7x plus the integration constant c. Alright, so copying down the integral, the integral of sine of 2x by the cosine of 5x with respect to x, the indefinite integral is one six of the cosine of 3x minus one fourteenth of the cosine of 7x plus c. Okay, let's just briefly confirm this result by looking at it graphically. All right, so on this chart here, this turquoise curve is the integrand. So that's the function sine of 2x 
by cos of 5x. This orange curve here is its primitive or its integral. So this is the function 1 6th of the cosine of 3x minus 1 14th of the cosine of 7x. The integration constant I have set as equal to 0 just for convenience. So what we're looking for here is this turquoise curve is supposed to be the slope function of the orange curve. So let's just uh, visually confirm that. So at these points here we've got a local minimum and we've got two local maxima here and here. We'd expect the slope to be equal to zero. So if we trace down to the turquoise curve, the uh, turquoise curve indeed has values of zero, zero and zero. The primitive has its steepest positive slope at around about here and so that is confirmed by the magnitude or the value of the turquoise curve corresponding to this point on the slope. Similarly it looks like we have the steepest negative slope at about here and that is also confirmed by the largest negative value on the turquoise function. So that's just a quick graphic confirmation that we have the right result. And that'll do it for this video. If you found it useful, please uh, give me a like, share it on social media with all your study mates, make this channel famous. If you're new here, please subscribe and you'll get notifications of new videos that may help you with your studies. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And please, I would really appreciate any small donation you can make. You can do that through PayPal in the link in the description because uh, helping me out a little bit will allow me to make more videos for you. So for now, best of luck with your studies and I'll see you on the next video.